Hey guys, welcome to another episode of A Shot of Ruby. And in this episode right here, we'll be taking a look at writing uh, a custom query. Uh, so, so far, we have been just using the basic, uh, you know, Elasticsearch search. Uh, and we're just, you know, we're not really doing very much otherwise. So in this episode, we're going to take a look at uh, writing our own custom query. Uh, and I have already written the query. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, in the model, the movie model right over here. Uh, so this part over here, it's written as a class method. Uh, so I've put it in this, uh, this you know, class self over here, uh, just so that I don't have to do, uh, you know, self dot, you know, and then the name of the method uh, just keeps it a little bit cleaner. Okay, let's take a look. So over here, I've done a search and I've got a query. And then in this query here, I'm calling this method down here, multi match query. So what multi-match does is it allows you to match your query string to multiple fields in your data store. So in this case over here, we've got uh, the name field, the synopsis, the year, language, country, genres. And over here, I'm just looking through genre names and uh, crew names. So if you look back at the search result, you'll see there's a few problems, right? Um, you know, we're, we're doing a search for, you know, Tom Cruise and, um, you know, it, it's, it's not finding us the movies for Tom Cruise as a user would expect. Uh, and if we scroll all the way down, we will see Jerry Maguire. So that's a Tom Cruise movie, but it's also in the synopsis. So what's happened is, um, you know, even this one is, is got Tom Cruise, even though it's the making of, of MI2. Um, but it's essentially, it's not uh, looking at the crew names. Uh, it's actually just looking at the name and synopsis because these have got these, um, you know, these priorities here, these weightings. Uh, what these weightings do is like, it just shows which field is more important and takes priority. So, uh, how do we fix this problem over here? All we have to do is in the cruise name, uh, we just have to add the, the hat and then uh, give it a, a heavy weight of 10. Uh, so it's this is now the most important thing we're looking at. Um, and uh, let's go back to the browser and do a search again. Search Tom Cruise. Whoops. All right, let's take a look. Uh, okay, so I've got, mm, you know, my servers turned off. So let's turn that back on. Okay, I'm gonna head over here, hit a reload. So now Days of Thunder uh, is, is has come up and uh, you know, all these, um, you know, Tom Cruise movies uh, has now uh, come up a little bit higher, uh, hitting it hard, um, you know, I think is a Tom Cruise movie. Let's check that. Yeah, seems like it. So, um, So it's to promote the film Vanilla Sky. I see. Uh, so yeah, he is a part of the cast, uh, and he is in here. Uh, so it is sort of working. Um, let's see if born on Fourth of July. So so yeah, it is Tom Cruise. So uh, there you go. You know. Um, so that's that's one way to do a query and over here I've, I've written uh you know best field uh over here for type and now if you want to learn more about how to write queries in Elasticsearch, uh you can take a look at the query page and it tells you exactly you know um you know what you need to put to get the results that you want and you can see all the types over here uh, that are available and it has an explanation of what it does. I'm not going to go into details. I think you guys can go ahead and read this yourself. I will put the link to this page in the description area. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys, you know, very quickly how you can uh, start to write your own custom uh, query using multi match. Now, um, a very cool thing to do would be to you detect like you know when you type in the search query detect what kind of query it is so like you could detect 
all right, it, it, this, does this word uh, match with one of the crews in the database? If it does, then we look for that. Like we use that, we use a different query. And uh, if it doesn't, and it's just like some keyword, then we use uh, another query. So something like that would be cool. Uh, and let's take a look at that in the next episode. Um, you know, I'm trying to keep these episodes really short. Uh, and if there's anything in particular you guys want to see, uh, please let me know. Uh, there's also an, a few other things which is really important, like the Boolean query. Um, you know, that's going to be very important, and we're going to take a look at that in the upcoming episodes as well. Uh, if there's anything else in particular you guys want me to cover, uh, please let me know in the comments section. Uh, I am taking a look at that, and I really want to cover something that you guys will enjoy. Um, we're also going to look at um, doing filters and sorts and, uh, and all that other cool stuff. All right, so with that out of the way, um, you know, let's try this out. Um, I don't know if that's correct, uh, but yeah, I, I guess so. You know, uh, staring Nicolas Cage and Penelope Cruz. So there you go. Spaghetti Requiem. There you go. Um, so uh, let's try another uh, actress name uh, or actor. Let's try Arnold. Okay. Um, let's copy his name over here and then paste that in there. There you go. Look at that. Um, making of Total Recall, making of the Terminator, um, Hercules in New York. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was Arnold Schwarzenegger. So, you know, all these bodybuilding stuff, uh, you know, it, so it is kind of working. We could probably do a little bit better uh, if we optimize a query and uh, look into uh, it a little bit more. Um, but for now, you get the idea. Um, you know, this is not this is not the best query in the world. It took me five minutes to write. Uh, there's a lot you can do with Elasticsearch. Uh, it takes time to look into it. Uh, and I will build a more complex query, but I just wanted to show you guys how to do that. Like, you know, how you would go about Okay, you got to set up your own, you know, class method, and then you call this thing here, uh, the Elasticsearch method. Then you do a search, and then pass in the query. Um, so once we have this set up, we can build more and more complex queries uh, down here. So uh, I'm gonna wrap it up for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like it if you like it. Dislike it if you dislike it. Um, you know, your subscription really helps us out. Uh, so I would really appreciate that. Uh, you know, if you subscribe on our channel and if there's anything in particular you guys want me to show you, uh, please let me know in the comment section below. And with that, um, I'm going to wrap it up. You guys have a great day and I will see you in the next one.